Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how to sign into Clever to access the different apps that we'll be using for e-learning. So the fastest way to find Clever is to type Clever log in in the Google search bar. And the Clever login will be the first thing that pops up on your screen. So you click Clever login. If this is your first time signing to Clever, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. It'll say log in and search for your school. The fastest way to find Central Catholic since there are a lot of Central Catholics, all these high schools and everything else, we type in Central Catholic School, and then if you want to find us really fast, you just type A-R-C-H. And that's short for Archdiocese of Indianapolis, and that'll be the one that pops up right here. Just click that. It'll bring you to a page where that Archdiocese of Indianapolis is the first thing. And since everyone's using their Google email, we can log in with Google. When you log in with Google, since we've logged in before using our login account, we can log in with our a darrowin at centralcatholicindy.org. It'll bring us to this page where all of the different apps are housed. And that's it for logging into Clever. Um, some helpful things for Clever. Um, if there are apps that we use a lot, so for instance, I use Newzella, iReady, Khan Academy, and Edge Elastic a lot. If I want those to kind of pop up to the top so I can find them faster, I can go down and put a heart on the ones that I use a lot, and then they'll move up to the top. Just like that. And then they are right there. And I think that's, that's it for Clever. OK, now let's talk about how to download and access Clever from a cell phone. So if you're an iPhone, if you're using an iPhone, you can go into the App Store. On Android, it's the Play Store. You just click on that. You go to the search button in the bottom right. Type in Clever. It'll be the first one that pops up. And then you want the app that has that purple box with the white C. And you just download that. It'll download in the background. OK, and once it's downloaded, you click on it give it access to the camera. The reason it's asking for the access to the camera is not for a selfie, but because if you had a Clever badge, you could do that. But we're actually going to log in with the username and password. So that button on the bottom. And it'll bring you out of the app into a browser because, um, because everyone's using Clever so much right now, um, it's easier for them to control internet traffic if they do it through a browser like Google Chrome or Safari. And we'll type our school name in here. It'll just be central. Catholic school, and then we type arch, A-R-C-H, just like last time. Go like that, and it'll bring us it'll have that archdiocese at the top. We'll log in with Google, and we're gonna use our school Google account, that first letter of our first name, and if you already have it in your phone, like my phone stores it for me, so I can just click on that, use face ID, and then the password, same thing. It'll be that learn password with four numbers, and then we hit next. It'll load the Clever homepage with all the apps. Something important to note, because I liked all those different apps, they show up right here underneath Favorites. I also added Newzella because I'll be using that a lot with the fourth and fifth grade. One thing to note, iReady will show up here, but iReady doesn't work on a normal like Android or iPhone. Um, it only works with iPad or a computer, so it won't work from this page. And from here, you can access any of these apps right here. So especially Khan Academy and Newzella and Edge Elastic, those will be the ones that we use for school. And that's it for logging into Clever from a phone.